Hey guys, I just wanted to drop a little video here. I just received the Muses of Tarot by Ethany and I'm super excited about it. Um, I have already done this video, but I didn't like it, so I'm redoing it. So I apologize that the um, wrapping is not on this still. So let's dive right in. So here's the front of the box that it comes in. It's actually a really nice um, feel to it. I'm super excited about the box. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to the boxes that my cards come in. Um, and this has a magnetic closure, which also makes me super happy. So this is the inside. And we've got a really large book that comes with um, the card. So it's the Muses of Tarot, 13 Divine Energies to Guide Your Tarot Readings. Um, and this is 204 pages. So there's there's lots of uh, goodness in here. And we will talk about everything in here in just a moment. And then here are the cards. They came with just like a little plastic um, band around it. Um, they weren't completely enveloped in um, cellophane, just the plastic band that you were able to slip off. So here are the backs of the cards. I don't know if you guys can kind of see the metallic silver. It's pretty shiny, super exciting. And then the sides of the cards are a matte black. Um, when I move it, it almost looks like the cards like the edges shimmer a bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm seeing, but anyways, I, not too much of a shimmer, but yeah, but I'm, I'm digging the matte black. I'm gonna move this box out of the way so we can kind of see things a little bit better. So I'm gonna go through the cards that she has. The first card is the crown chakra. third eye chakra, throat chakra, heart chakra, the solar plexus chakra, sacral chakra, and root chakra. All right, so now we're going to dive into the actual muses. There are three cards to each muse. So the first muse is Adoria. There is an altar card. And then a tarot invocation and releasing. So let me show you Adoria. So the altar cards, basically, if you're not able to create your own altar, if you don't have the supplies needed, um, this is to serve in replace of that. Um, in the book, there are um, instructions on what to use for each muse's altar. And then there is an invocation and releasing of each muse. So in the book, let's find Adoria. First off, I mean, how gorgeous is this book? A bunch of muses there. tells you how to use the book. All right, so we have Adoria. So this is the muse that we were just looking at. She is the muse of love and tarot readings. When dealing with matters of the heart in a tarot reading, you can count on Adoria to be there to guide you, whether it's finding love, keeping love, or letting go of love gone wrong. So each muse, she's got some corresponding tarot cards that may pop up with that reading. And then she has, just like in this card, she's got the invoking ritual as well as the releasing. So this is the same thing just on a card. And then there are the creating an altar for her. So if you actually did wanna set it up, she tells you what flowers, herbs and spices, aromatherapy, crystals, little treasures that you'd like. Um, which is super cool. Like we all love to create an altar, don't we? And then there are correspondences like symbols and then what chakra um, Adoria would be working with. And then there is a tarot spread for each goddess, or excuse me, not goddess, muse. 
All right, so that's Adoria. So I'll move her aside. And then the next one, I don't know how to say her name. Brujela. So that's her Muse card, her Altar card, and then her Tarot Invocation and Releasing. Move these cards out of the way right here. So Bru Brujela is the Muse of Transition Tarot Readings. When there are big changes and new cycles on the horizon, you can count on Brujela to help guide these types of tarot readings. She presides at the crossroads of endings and beginnings. And then again, correspondences as far as um, tarot cards, and these are in the classic writer weight. And then the invoking and releasing, just like this card. Creating the altar tells you what you can use to create that. Otherwise, you can use your card. Corresponding symbols and chakras for this muse and then her tarot spread. So I'll move her aside. The next muse is Crisilla. She's gorgeous. I am obsessed with purple. Um, one of the girls that works at the witchy store that I go to, it's raining Zen. Shout out here where I live, um, said I must be needing to work on my crown chakra <laughs> if purple is my thing right now. So I'm loving her. There is her altar card and her invocation. You guys can see this and releasing. So Crisella is the muse of Clarity Tarot readings. She is the tarot muse that you invoke in a reading because you're confused as fuck. <laughs> um, I super appreciate when um, people use cuss words in things because um, I definitely have a colorful mouth. So she is right up my alley. And then there are the corresponding tarot cards for this muse. The invoking and releasing, just like this card. creating an altar for her, just like this card, her corresponding symbols and chakras, and then her tarot spread. This next one, oh girl, she is pretty. She's also purple, so I'm loving her. So this is Davina. I absolutely love, look at the little triple moon headband she's got purple little crystal ball there and her owl familiar. And then this is her altar card and her invocation and releasing. So Davina is the muse of prophecy tarot readings. She exists in the realm of predictions, destiny, and possibilities. Awesome. Here are corresponding cards for her. Of course, the High Priestess, if she's Divina and the Queen of Cups, they go kind of hand in hand. The Star card is my card. I'm an Aquarian. Then the invoke, Invoking and Releasing, which is this card, as well as Creating Your Altar is this card. Her corresponding symbols and chakras. And then her tarot spread. All right, our next one is Delorium. She's got, she's got like an anatomical heart necklace, huh? Her altar card and her releasing, excuse me, invocation and releasing. So Delorium is the muse of grief and sadness tarot readings. 
Delorium is invoked in readings when dealing with heartbreak and pain, when hearts are heavy and energy is low. Her corresponding tarot cards. Of course, the three of swords and the nine of swords are in there. Ten of wands, always carrying that burden. The tower, absolutely. So then we have her invoking and releasing, just like this card. Whoops. That. creating her altar, her corresponding symbols and chakras, and then her tarot spread. Our next muse is, I keep wanting to say goddess, I'm all about the goddesses, um, Epiphany. Here is her altar card and her invocation and releasing. So Epiphany is the muse of problem solving tarot readings. Problem meets solution. Epiphany is the tarot muse who finds ways to overcome all the challenges and obstacles that feel insurmountable. Her corresponding tarot cards. her invoking and releasing, creating her altar, and then corresponding symbols and chakras. And then of course her tarot spread. I'm so excited about all these new tarot spreads. Um, sometimes you kind of get blocked <laughs> What kind of spread to use? So this is gonna be great. All right, let me move her out the way. Holistics is our next muse. Beautiful. Her altar card. These are also my colors. So I've got the green and the purple, which goes along with my Luna Moth. And then there is the invocation and releasing. So holistics is the muse of health and healing tarot readings. When the body is tired and the soul feels weary, holistics is the tarot muse who helps you heal. Awesome. Here are her corresponding cards. We're gonna need some three of cups. We need some friends celebrating with us, bringing us up. And we have her invoking and releasing, creating an altar, her corresponding symbols and chakras, and then her tarot spread. Move these out the way. Our next is Lolia. I'm loving her fuzzy jacket. There's her altar card. And invocation and releasing. So Lolia is the muse of cosmic comedy terror readings. Lolia makes her entrance when you have been tricked by the universe, when things have gone topsy-turvy, or when people are just playing fucking games. Nice. Here are her corresponding tarot cards. Of course, the fool's in there. Seven of Swords, somebody is trying to be sneaky here. Her invoking and releasing. Creating an altar. Her symbols and chakras. And her tarot spread. 
right. Next is Lux. Oh, girl, she got money all over her dress. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be uh, working with her. Oh, look at there's a little bee up in the corner. So, um, Ethany's kind of symbol or bees, I'm actually in her online coven. Um, it's called the Awakened Soul Coven. So, if y'all are interested, I'll actually put a link below for that. Um, it is a wonderful community with um, all different types of witches and pagans. And each month we learn about a new goddess that we invoke at the full moon ritual. And we also have witches workshops and um, in the witches circle. So one of the mentor witches will kind of tell their story and what their practices are. So anyways, it's a great community. Um, I've been in it for, I believe about a year now and uh, look forward to the next year. So that's Lux. Here is her altar card. And her invocation and releasing. Lux is the muse of money, wealth, and prosperity readings. Oh yes, I'm gonna be using her. Cha-ching, this muse loves all things money. Readings with her present assist with landing that dream job, moving on up with promotions, getting grants, loans, starting a business, investing in all things prosperity. Girls, as soon as I get off this video, I think I'm going to invoke her. <laughs> um, yes, we all could use money. So her corresponding and of course her, uh, oh, that's nice. The imprint, the Empress is uh, one of her cards. This is actually my life path number is three. So it's my, my card. I am, uh, I've been a single mom for 13 years. I mean, my kids are all grown at this point, but um, a couple of them still live at home and, and I, I still feel that that Empress energy. Um, I'm always nurturing and caring for people and I'm also a nurse, so she goes right in there. Um, and I love being creative, so that, that's my kind of stalker card. <laughs> oh yes, so we've got the 10 of Pentacles, the nine of Pentacles, pro show. Was the, hmm, just checking to see if uh, our Nine of Cups was in there. I guess not. So we have our invoking and releasing, creating her altar, and then her symbols and chakras, and then her tarot spread. Sure, y'all want to work with her too. All right, our next muse is Miravali. She's pretty. Oh, she got a butterfly in the background. I like it. Transformation. Her altar card. And invoking and releasing. Miravali is the muse of reflective tarot readings. Miravali is the tarot muse to call when you need to hold the mirror up and reflect on your life and the choices, beliefs, and experiences that have gotten you where you are. Very good. Her corresponding tarot cards. <laughs> Seven of Cups, gotta make some choices. See what's shiny and <laughs> what's a good one to actually pick. Her invoking and releasing, creating an altar, her symbols and chakras, and tarot spread. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to use these tarot spreads. Ooh, look at her, Nyx. Can you guys see her dress? She's got like moon faces on her dress. Beautiful. I actually want this dress really bad. It reminds me, ooh, I didn't even see that. Look at this, there's a Luna Moths. Oh, Luna Moths, that's me. Um, this dress reminds me of this dress shop. I don't know if y'all have been to Salem, Massachusetts. Um, they have a dress shop called the Modern Millie and it's 
kind of these big dresses with like crinoline underneath. Anyways, they're they're super like vintage looking, but new, super awesome. There's her altar card. Invoking and releasing. So Nyx is the muse of shadow work. She is the tarot muse to call into your tarot readings when you are diving into the depths of your soul. Absolutely, we can all do some shadow work. I'm gonna be working with her. Oh, I guess I could leave her cards out for a second. The corresponding cards for her. Her invoking and releasing. Oh, there's a, a wasp just came in my room. Hopefully it doesn't disrupt me here. <laughs> creating an altar, her corresponding symbols and chakras, and her tarot spread. Oh girls, this next one is beautiful. Sparks. Look how lovely she is. She is super fun. Too bad my work won't let me color my hair like that. I used to have bright red hair, but um, that was a little too much for being the nurse, I guess. There is her altar card. Invoking and releasing. So Sparks is the muse of creative tarot readings. Sparks is the tarot muse you invoke when you are looking for some inspiration and want to get in the creative zone. I love being creative I am super ADD and I have way too many hobbies. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> my whole room is full of crafty supplies, um, but usually I just buy them more often than I actually play with them. So I'm gonna have to work with her so I can use my stuff instead of just purchasing. All right, of course the magician, helping us get creative in the Ace of Wands, perfect. Queen of Wands also. Yeah, here we go, Eight of Pentacles doing the work, y'all. That's me, I need to get busy. All right, there is her invoking and releasing. Creating an altar for sparks. Put some paint on that, look at that, that's fun. Her symbols and chakras and her tarot spread. I think that's our last, it is. Nope, we got one more. This is Valia. Ooh, check out her dress. She's got some Ouija board planchettes on there. Some dragonflies, she's got a little evil line uh, earrings on. Very pretty. There is her altar and her invocation and release. So Valia, the muse of mediumship tarot readings. Valia is the tarot muse who pulls back the veil so communication with those who are on the other side is possible. Very good, so this would be good for um, Samhain for wanting to communicate with some ancestors. Of course, death is one of her cards in the moon. Nice. The high priestess. Ace of swords, communication at its purest. Six of cups, going back to your childhood, something in your past. Invoking and releasing. Creating an altar. Whoops. Sorry. And of course she has a Ouija board on her altar. <laughs> her corresponding symbols and chakras. And then her tarot spread. So the next page, she has uh, the chakras and then the muses that work with those chakras. 
or assist you with your chakras. So say you actually want to work with your throat chakra. Um, she's saying that Epiphany, Miravali, and Holistics are ones that are going to help you there. So you can kind of work in a different direction if you want to do that. So very cool, very cool. And just some more information. A general muse tarot reading, using multiple muses. Do a separate reading for each muse. Compare the perspectives and wisdom. Um, here is the meet the tarot muse tarot spread. Very nice. Muse guide me tarot spread. And then if you have any thoughts, ideas that you want to write down. And if you can see kind of watermarked, there's pictures of the muses. How pretty. And then there's the girls. This is actually right here is our Awakened Soul Coven little emblem. So again, I'll link that in the description box below. So very nice book. Super love um, the size of it, the feel of it, all the colors. I'm excited. Um, also... I can't show you guys this. Let me let me uh, cover a piece here. So if you purchase this, you also get a companion course. There's a, a free code here. So if y'all want to purchase this from Ethany, I will link um, to her store so that you can grab this up for yourself. And then you'll also get the the coupon code for the free course. So I'm excited to take that. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I know that I love seeing things before I purchase just to make sure it's something that I'm actually going to use. And I, I actually like this a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, I wasn't sure that I was going to use it, but when I actually saw Ethany show it to us, I could not live without it. So I'm, I'm really excited to get started and I'm not lying. I'm going to break out, um, that muse for prosperity. Can't remember which one she was, but she is coming on my altar here in just a bit. So again, thank y'all for taking a look. I'm a new YouTuber. Please give me some love. I promise my videos will get better. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be sharing some tarot goodness for y'all. Thank you. We'll see you next time.